vampires. Yeah, I don't fuck with time. Here has a motherfucker looking for the brainless sucker dog thing hiding in the mirror. Here's demanding. Get on your knees and break shit. Gun in hand. Kill the world. Kill this room. Break shit. The calls for you. It's the house. Hunt the beast. Turned so much haunting this filled with meat. I know these walls. 
I know this light spilling across weathered stone. I know this place hiding from God. And of course, uh, this face would not be complete without a portrait of Van Helsing. I'm sure you're familiar. Not sure he was all that he's charged up to be. Of course, with figures such as Van Helsing, you know, we face this challenge of being able to determine what's real and what's not, sifting through history and lore, who they were, who they have been turned into by stories. It's an incredibly difficult undertaking. Personally, if I want to know if a creature is real, I look at the people who are hunting it. Technique, madness, and incalculable faith that they will see their quarry again. Vampires. I haven't met a vampire hunter yet who wasn't a quack or con man or a romantic. No offense to Mr. Helsing here. You aren't a believer? Oh, I believe. I think vampires are real. They walk among us to this day. It's a story that's wrong. This is Doug Lay's castle. This is where we met. Her castle. The graveyard where she told me she was a vampire. And the motel in my hometown where two years later, she's decided to hold the ritual that ends the world. The void is pulling these places from memories. Only question is, am I living through her hell?